Hello, everyone. I am delighted to be joined here today by Laurie Denemy, who is a water exercise coach and also offers home and online workouts and coaching and is soon to start and launch a teacher training program as well. So first of all, Laurie, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. The first question that I ask uh, everyone when, when I do these, uh, these podcast interviews is if you could just share a little bit about your background, whatever you'd like to share, where you're from, but also what I think is really inspiring is just to hear people's different stories about when was the awakening, as I call it for you, when did you realize that the world is not the way that we thought it was? I, um, I've actually been teaching water exercise for 30 years. And I knew from the moment that I really first experienced water exercise that there was something different about it. And I think it was this, you know, it's a freedom to move. It's playful. You know, you can do things in the water that you maybe can't do on land. And these are the things that often really bring people to water, you know, it's supportive nature, it's healing nature. Um, and people just feel good for um, when they get into the water. But I think what um, I really didn't recognize until later on in my career, maybe 20 years later, was probably the most overlooked mechanism for getting results from training in the water. And that was from the feeling of movement itself. And I know we're going to come back and talk to that a little bit later, but you know, I always loved the water and I have a really supportive family who encouraged me to follow my passion. And so what that did was I live in, lived in Canada and I followed my passion of teaching water exercise. And I moved to Florida and um, over the course of time, it led to the development of my, uh, my own business, Water Exercise Coach. And along that time as well, I've always been really curious as to how the body moves and looking for ways to help myself and the people that I worked with to move better. So I had this curiosity that always dr drove me really to learning. So... Uh, whether it be courses and conferences and discussions from with experts really in the industry, I gained a lot of knowledge. But for me, there was something, you know, still a little bit missing because what I learned was that, you know, knowledge itself really doesn't get results. And so this was the second part of the lesson that I really learned from my experience. And, and that was teaching itself. And so over the course of teaching for, you know, 15 years, I had witnessed a lot of people gain function, feel better, and uh, reduce pain, that kind of thing, all sorts of great stories um, from water exercise. Uh, fast forward to 2017, my mom was vaccine injured. And, you know, this was a really challenging time in our family and trying to help her heal. And fortunately, we found our way to some great body workers and therapies that helped her. And the other thing we did was water exercise. And my mom, when she was injured, was paralyzed, like she literally could not move. And through the different things we did, and, um, you know, some uh, water exercise program, she regained full function and she did it really quickly. She did it within three months. So yet again, you know, it was kind of a personal, more close to home story where my mom had now regained function and healing through water exercise. And so this was just one of those things for me personally, that gave me another boost for my passion and seeing what it could do for people. Um, so at that time, I, I was teaching courses, I was teaching other teachers my methodologies that I developed over time. And uh, so then a couple years later, 2019, one of the things that I 
you know, really loved about our community, the water exercise community, is that we, um, when we got together at conventions, there was a lot of excitement. So that in-person training, learning from each other, those um, being able to share experiences or how we helped our students. And um, that was really exciting. But then we, we all went home and now we were kind of by ourselves. And so it was always something that as a presenter, I had the opportunity, I got to travel and teach people and interact with people. So my skills were developing, not so much from the knowledge I learned in the books. Yes, that's important. Uh, we need to have that part, but it was really the experiences of other people that was helping me develop my skills as coach. So whether it may be learning from those teachers or learning from the students in my class, um, I wanted this for other people. And um, so, we can have stronger gains by really working together and we need the knowledge. We need those pieces. That's important, but really it was the experiences of others um, that helps us to accelerate our learning faster than we can do on our own. And you said that, um, that your, your, your mother was vaccine injured. Um, and I met you through the CPN community quite early on when we started COVID positive news. So did you already know as the whole thing was rolling out that things didn't make sense? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think, um, I guess I was fortunate because of past experiences, you know, that was one experience with my mom. And then, you know, I had also had my own personal health journey where prior to um, 2019, we had sought out other um, ways to heal our bodies and um, really trying to um, do it a little bit more based on how we were responding to the things we were trying because we were getting different pieces of knowledge, but we knew we weren't getting the results through these other traditional ways. So those experiences led me to, yes, very early on, you know, um, a couple weeks in, we, we really lived life normally um, over the last three years. Um, it, it was a big struggle because I was not able to see my family. We live in two different countries. So that part was very difficult. Um, you know, we were separated from family, not able to cross borders. Um, but at the same time, that's when I found you, you know, CPN. Um, I was looking for more ways to share this kind of what I had experienced in water exercise and what we could do as a community beyond that. So more on more issues beyond just fitness. And that's when I found you and your, your group resonated very quickly, very early on with me because you had this um, distinctly different approach to how you were sharing your message and how you were trying to keep it positive and focus on solutions. Uh, you know, I've done quite a few interviews now. And when I ask about the awakening process, there seems to be at the moment two different areas. One of them is like me, it was more to do with, um, for me, it was 9-11, the war on terror. It was at that time. And I was talking to someone the other day who had a similar, uh, one or two people actually that have had a similar moment around that time. And then the other group of people, it's to do with the exploration of health. Mm -hmm. So they'd already, before it came to COVID, they'd already been reading books or exploring other health modalities, a variety of different modalities that were showing them and teaching them before this whole thing started that what we've been told from the health perspective is not true or not the full truth. So it sounds like you came from a similar direction through the health route. Yes, yes, exactly. Yep. And I think you said that right in that there was a lot of exploration. And so we took a lot of care into what we put into our bodies. We research it. 
We, you know, look to different people that we have now gained to trust in, in the information that you're sharing. And I think the big thing is looking from more than one perspective. And so that's where these communities are so valuable because there's never just one way. And um, so it's really important, I think, to make informed decisions. And so, yeah, our health, our health, personal health issues had led us down a path that, you know, really kind of pushed us a little bit to search for better ways. Yeah, and arguably that's why the, uh, the, the you know, the, the censorship and stuff around debate, because if everybody can talk about their own personal experiences, then it opens up to more knowledge. And so cracking down on that ability to share knowledge is a way of control. But moving on from the uh, control to your passion. So your modality, your passion is water exercise. And also you said uh, kind of bringing community into that as well. And also you mentioned the importance of uh, movement and just kind of general movement and keeping flexible and things like that. So would you like to talk a little bit more then about uh, the, the type of water exercise you do, how it's possibly different to what other people do and some of your background training? Yeah, absolutely. I love anybody that wants to talk about water exercise. I love to share with them because I know firsthand from personal experience, from the people I work with and from the instructors that I get to work alongside with and learn from that it truly can help people move, feel better and really just change their daily um, life. And um, so my movement approach to movement is really, it's really simple and that it uses natural body movement. So our body is designed to move in this 360 degree space around us. And yet, if you look at a lot of training methods, um, if you think about if I was gonna do leg strengthening, what might I do? So you think squats, you think lunges, maybe you think jumps in the pool, we do jogs, we do skis. And if you can envision these exercises, they're really moving the body in a front to back motion. So they're getting the body stronger in one direction, or I call this two directions, front and back. And the problem with this is you get stronger there. So you're strengthening maybe your strengths, but you're not addressing your weaknesses and you're not building muscle balance. And so um, I wanted to develop a way to help remind people to train in all available directions. So I use what I call the six, seven formula and it's really simple and you can do this in the pool or on land and it's as easy as move in six directions so that's front back right left turn right turn left so you can imagine if i was doing a squat all i would need to do is add an arm reach front and back as i squat or add an arm reach maybe to the right side or to the left side as I squat or reach to the right rotation, reach the left rotation. And if you can picture doing a squat with these different arm reaches, you would notice right away you have six different squats because these um, by moving the arms, you're just adding a subtle variability to how the muscles are being stretched and therefore strengthened. And it's making sure that we're training around the full body. So that's the six directional part. The second piece is to use seven foot positions. And these seven foot positions basically take the feet and they slide them along those same lines we just talked about. So if I had my feet here, I'd be sliding my foot, right foot forward, left foot forward, wide, narrow, toes out, toes in. So, and then the first one is just neutral. So that gives me seven foot positions. So if you can, again, just picture the squat, taking those feet in those subtle different ways changes how the muscles are strengthened. And it's more natural because if you think about yourself every day, the only time you squat with your knees behind your toes, 
over and over again is in a gym. So this isn't functional to how we live, but we do have to get out of a car. So my feet do this when I get out of a car. So if I'm doing a squat with my feet here, it's very functionally strengthening to the way we live. So it's really training using natural body movement. And the formula is that simple. Six, seven, do that. And it will, right away, you'll get different results. So that's really the formula. And um, anybody can do this at home. Um, and so that's what makes the first part of my training different. The second part, and this is the part I get really excited about because this is where results get really personal, is that we focus on the feel. So we call it feel focused movement. And what that means is you're learning what sensations should you be feeling in your body, in the muscles, in the heart, in the, in your breath, what start, sort of things should you be feeling as you exercise? Because when you understand what to feel, then you can personalize the exercise for you because we're not all the same, you know? If a squat is a template, and if I say squat with my feet wide, that's a template. But your squat wide might look like this, and my squat wide might look like this. Someone else, it might look like this. But we need to learn, well, how do I know? What's the, the right distance for me? And once you learn this, you can truly take charge of your own results. And that way, um, it's injury prevention, so it's a safety feature, but it also offers you to, a way to progress your exercises, a way to better, faster results. So it's really a two-piece, using the 6-7 and then focusing on field focus movement is how we get results. And um, I teach that in a teacher training course, and you know it's a two-hour course, so you can learn this formula in two hours and um, all of the evidence behind it, because it is evidence-based training, but at the same time, it is um, it more it got an intuitive side to it, a feel-focused side. So you can learn it in two hours. And then um, as I discovered uh, through you know, the things we've already been talking about is that really our best success comes when we can have conversations with each other. So what happens is I teach the course online, it's a self-paced course, but then we have our Wavemakers community. And the Wavemakers community is a, uh, a community of world-class water exercise coaches. These people really are the best um, and we're international. We get together in live meetups on Zoom to ask questions, share ideas, so that we can really accelerate our teaching skills faster than we ever could do on our own. So that's on the teacher training side of things. Uh, I launched this program in 2019, and I was very thankful for that because you know we've been growing strong over the last three years, and um, it, it's really I could have never planned this because. The program, while our, our workouts all share one thing, and that's the six, seven formula, how we deliver it is unique to us. We all bring different skills. Some coaches are, um, have a, a strong dance background. So they might teach programming that has you know, stronger choreography-based movements to it. Other people have more of a background in therapy. Maybe they're a physical therapist. So they can structure the programming towards their clientele. It's totally adaptable, whether you want to be focused more on the um, rehab side of things, the sport conditioning side of things, and it really matches your gifts, your talents as a coach. And it helps you learn new things about yourself and really just give you confidence in your coaching. Um, and I think the way, the reason this really works is because we become, with this approach of um, teaching, we become both teachers and coaches. So we teach what to do, how it should feel, but then we coach our students. So that means real-time interactions with our students, 
responding to what we see, asking questions. Do you feel this? Allowing the students time to just adopt their exercise for them. And so um, for that reason, um, this is what can happen in a class like this is that at the end of a class, one student can come out and say, you know, that workout, I really needed that mobility workout for my knees today. The stretching felt really good. And then the friend beside them can say, wow, my heart was really pumping in those um, cardio intervals. And you would think, are these, were these two people in the same class? But they were because as the coach leads the program, the students have learned how to adapt and know that, you know, oh, today I didn't get much sleep. I need to, I don't have a lot of energy. I'm going to make this a little bit more about mobility today. Or I have lots of energy. I really want to, you know, challenge myself. I know how to take up the intensity level. This can happen in one class. And that's why with this approach, um, it's almost like a personal training session for each person in the class. So you truly can get personal training results in a group exercise class. And the bottom line is that we're learning how to choose our exercises that are best for us and know that we have permission from our coach to change it. So if the coach is leading a, a squat and I'm like, this exercise feels terrible for me, I know I have permission to jog around the pool if I want. So from the untrained eye, a class by a water exercise coach may look like there's this chaos to it because everybody's not perfectly in sync, but the beauty is it's purposely planned. It's personally discovered by each person in the class. So it's delivering the results that each person needs right there in that day. So I think that's what really distinguishes this approach from others. I don't. I hope I can remember my questions. That yes, were I know. I just brain. wrote a lot on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. So the first one is. So you know, I do hypnosis. I'm very passionate about intuition or the subconscious and the inner knowing. Uh, my girlfriend uh, teaches intuitive dance. So uh, and also dance therapy, where you are, you know, you dancing how you want to dance, which is a bit like ecstatic dance, but it's more focused on the healing side. Um. Then there's intuitive eating. Uh, there's a whole kind of philosophy around diet and eating what you know within yourself that's the right food for you. What I think is fantastic about what you're talking about is there's no right or there's no one right or wrong way to do exercise. You need to feel it. Again, other people I've been interviewing, it keeps coming back to intuition. So when you uh, talk about uh, um, the feeling aspect, and you said that the course that you do for the uh, the coaching and the teaching training, the two hour one, that you've also included, you know, background evidence based uh, stuff. Um, have you what what is the the evidence or what have you discovered around the importance of feeling in order to make a decision about what you're going to do in the exercise? So this course is um, built by, there's three of us that put it together. Um, and my approach to movement has, um, I think, always been rooted in this side of um, what feels good. In fact, my exercise mantra has always been exercise should feel good. Um, and sometimes I didn't really know why some of the things I was doing was so effective. And that's why the two people that come into the mix that teach the course with me, um, both are exercise physiologists, you know, people coming into an exercise training program, they expect it be, um, you know, rooted in exercise training principles. And so that's where the, you know, the six, seven formula is rooted in our traditional exercise training principles, you know, just the basics of specificity, progressive overload, variability, all the things that are known in exercise to get results. It sort of sticks to that science. But then um, on the feeling side, we're, we're teaching 
the people in our classes how to progress in their own way, um, which is important, especially in a group exercise program, because traditionally you're just, um, you know, following uh, instructors lead and you're just doing a copycat without really any thinking to it. So um, the feeling side is really giving people some benchmarks on how to monitor their prog their own progress along this side of, um, I'd say more of the evidence-based movement. So I don't know if that answers your question. It's just that I feel as I'm doing these interviews that there's lots of dots being connected. I mean, um, if we want to create a better or an ideal world or a new world, new earth, so many words out there for it. Um, uh, I was reading a nice meme the other day that someone shared about we can all be different, but we can have a oneness of purpose. And so when you're doing these exercises with people, they're empowering themselves to become healthier and better and have more flexibility and more movement um, with a oneness of purpose, which is the general um, class and the 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 structure of the class but then add, adding to that also allowing for the individuality and then for people to be trusting their own inner knowing so it's just fascinating how um you can apply that to sport you can apply it to many many different areas um, including how do we create uh, an alternative better system I really appreciate you saying that because that's the part that's the hardest to teach. Um, because I think for so long, people were told you have to do eight reps of this and then you do 12 reps of this, where it's not really about that. It's like you said, you got to, you have to trust yourself. And a lot of the um, coaches found this very difficult at first. Um, when they were first learning this kind of new way of thinking. Um, and so that's actually also why um, just last year I launched a, a new platform, which is We Coach Workouts, which makes this accessible directly to the people in their homes. Uh, you know, sometimes people have trouble getting to a location or the class times don't work. Or maybe they, they have accessibility closer to home. Maybe they have a pool um, in their backyard or they have a community pool that they have access to uh, outside of the times that regular classes are. And so that's why just um, last year I launched We Coach Workouts, which is an opportunity for people to get these types of classes so they can learn it in their own home. And um, it's delivered through um, coaching programs and it has the same philosophy. It's, it's my learn, grow, share philosophy where we're learning together, but we're growing our skills together by sharing our stories. Um, and so this We Coach Workouts, also, I also believe that you need to exercise both on land and in the pool. So while it is water focused, there are um, land workouts that use apply the same thinking so that you can um, get the same feel good um, type of exercise on land that you get in the pool. Because a lot of people that exercise in the pool say, I can't exercise on land. And I say, yes, you can. You just need the right kind of exercise to understand that you can exercise on land pain-free. So um, yeah, that, that part is definitely um, a journey, the learning to trust yourself. And once you do, wow, that's where the success happens. Have you found that uh, when people learn to trust themselves doing the exercises, that that then uh, expands into other areas of life? Have people come to you and said, wow, I seem to be able to, you know, feel more what I want in other situations? 100%. Yes. So this, the, I think what's really, um, wonderful about the water is because it's touching your skin everywhere. It gives you some proprioceptive awareness as to where you're moving in space. So it helps you teach, it helps teach you body awareness. 
because it, that's a hard thing to learn. So once you learn it in the pool, translating to land, yes. So people tell me, you know, when I'm golfing, I really can feel the rotation in my hips or when I'm walking up and down the stairs, it, I can feel it with so much more ease. I've got that mobility. And, and so they start to learn and develop this awareness to everyday activities, whatever those might be. And maybe the opposite also, like um, now that I'm more body aware, I'm noticing how it's not good for me to be sitting in the chair as long as I was before. Yes, your body kind of craves that um, want to move, for sure. Um, so for you, is there a benefit then over doing these types of or doing exercise in general in water compared to land? I think water is uh, just a really opportunity for a lot of people that do hurt on land. It has a freedom to move. Um, because you are immersed in water, it allows your joints sort of expand, the space between your joints expand. So the ability to move is so much more freer that we can do things in water that we can't do on land. So for example, I can skip in the water. Maybe I can't skip on land. Or I can do a plank to a squat jump in the water. Whereas, ooh, maybe that's a little too hard on land. So it allows people opportunities to do things that they never thought they could do. So it's a building of a confidence in movement that um, can trans be transportable to land. So as you get stronger, because yes, you can build muscle strength. Yes, you can build bone density. Yes, you can improve lung function. Yes, you can improve heart health. All of these things can happen in the water in a way that it just feels so good. It's playful. It's kind of joyful movement that truly can have all these same positive effects on land when you know how to use the water. You have to learn how to use it, how to push it and pull it with your hands, how to work in a way that will strengthen the body. Um, and then I think on land, then maybe it makes things a little easier to do. Now, maybe I might be willing to try some kind of exercise on land that I wasn't able to do before. Um, so training with gravity is, is also important. We don't live in the water. So we do need to have some of that training on land as well. I think the two are important, but the water certainly offers us um, opportunities that might not be possible for many. And also, I would imagine the resistance, there's more resistance. So you're probably going to build more strength, uh, strength more quickly. Yeah. Than you. And then also, obviously, for you, water is a passion of yours. So what about from kind of just like an emotional, the love for water perspective? Why is it so nice to get in the water? Yeah, it's one of those things. Water can actually be um, a very scary place for some people, or it can be a very joyful place for some people. So the one thing, um, if you, when you step into water, um, automatically there's this calming nature of it. And um, our our nervous system is able to relax in a different way. And so it can bring this calmness yet for those people that say, well, I, I can't swim or I'm afraid of water, water exercise still has, you can still do water exercise because you water exercise, you can do with two feet on the ground. You can be touching the pool side edge to gain confidence at first. Um, but, uh, I think the statistic is 50% of adults in the United States are non-swimmers. So chances are somebody around you in a class cannot swim. And um, so, but, so that can sometimes be a limiting factor of bringing people into the pool. But um, I think once people sort of just gain that confidence in the new environment and there's steps to do that, um, it can truly be a, uh, joyful and a healing place that's actually a really shocking statistic because um in england where i grew up although i don't know if it's still the case but um i imagine it still is you all, all, uh, all children start going and getting swimming classes in primary school 
So, um, and I would imagine that's kind of a general thing that happens in European countries in general is that uh, we learn to swim at a very, very young age. But it's really fantastic that you've um, found a way or you've developed a way to do water classes that are open to absolutely everybody, regardless of their level, regardless of their need, and even regardless of whether they can swim or not. So you talked about like the teacher training. What about if somebody is listening to you right now and thinking, wow, this sounds absolutely amazing, but I don't want to be a teacher. Yeah. So the place for people that say, um, I would like to try this type of exercise, we coach workouts would be the place for them because um, this is a place for online workouts. And so if you're the kind of person that just likes a, a Netflix of workouts, you will have the opportunity to just go in and pick any workout you want to do and follow along. But the distinguishing piece here is I want, along with my team, so me and my team are there for you as your personal coach. So we have developed 28 day programs where we put together, whether you say want mobility, strength, cardio, whatever your focus might be, there's a 28 day program for you that tells you what to do every single day, which workout to do. And it gives you for days, you maybe have a little bit more time. There's bonus movement minutes. Um, and the big thing is we want you to learn how to use the water. And so for that reason, there are move better tips where I teach the same movement drills um, inside we coach workouts that I do to my own students so that they really learn how to use their hands and their body to use the water as the training tool it can be and and learning how to develop that self-awareness so that you know how to uh, adjust any exercise for what you need that day you learn how to use that water in that totally different way and you learn skills that are really transportable to any other workout that you do so that would be the place to go we coach workouts.com so we talked to, before we started recording, we talked about how, because, you know, you, you, we, were, we were discussing um, sometime maybe a year ago now, you may be being a CPN mentor, but you were just too busy. So that's good news that you're busy uh, helping people out and, uh, and, and following your passion. So that's fantastic. But you mentioned that you'd be really interested in the, in the near future to offer a, uh, a discount code for people in the CPN community to be able to sign up. So is that the course that you're talking about that people would in the future be able to sign up for, or are you thinking about something else? Yeah. So um, I want CPN has been, you know, I, even over the past couple of years, I've been following along just with all the great work you're doing. And um, I want to offer that um, discount for people that are maybe wanting to give this a try, whether you are an at-home user and you want to try We Coach Workouts, a discount there, but also if you would like to become a teacher um, and, and help other people do this and you want to learn the methodology, then um, I will provide a discount for that course as well. And um, that course I offer twice a year, spring and fall. Are, are the courses like... Um purely for land or is there kind of land exercises mixed in with the water exercises? There's always land exercises mixed in with the water because I think it's really important. On my YouTube channel, I have um, what I call six in one movement breaks. And these are short land based uh, programs anywhere from eight to 15 minutes. And these are things that actually the Wavemakers coaching community, we developed as a community in 2020 to help people keep moving while they were not able to get to their pools. And um, so this, the six in one movement breaks, they're free to access on my YouTube channel, which is Water Exercise Coach. And there is it in a playlist, is it on the channel yes. as well? The playlist is six in one movement breaks. I think that's also really fantastic because, you know, not everybody does have access to a pool. Some people are afraid of the pool, afraid of water. Um, and then also uh, it, it's perfect for people that are not very mobile, people that are kind of stuck at home. You know, they can move just a little bit and a little bit is better than nothing. Or Absolutely. me, somebody who sits on the, on the chair all day long at the moment. I also am very aware that I need this type of stuff. 
Absolutely. So uh, I go swimming and the workouts that you have are these workouts that, so first of all, kind of how long is a workout? And also are these workouts that you can kind of go to a pool, find a little corner and just do them on your own? Or do you need space? You know, would it be better to be part of a class? We coach workouts. You could find a little space and do them. Um, you don't need a lot of room. And I, in fact, I record them in a really uh, a small pool where um, I'm probably only like in a four by four space. Uh, the videos make it look the pool look a little bigger, but that's the space that I'm in. And so you can do a lot with if you're near a pool edge, you know, you can do things on a wall. You don't need fancy equipment uh, to do a lot of the workouts. We just use the water itself. Um, and so you can either, um, you know, oftentimes people will follow along with some earbuds. So if you have some waterproof earbuds, you can follow along just by listening. You don't need the visual. In fact, my original workouts were audio only. There was no visual. It was only in the last two years that I started including video. So you can, um, there's some workouts that are as short as 12 minutes that you can print out a handout take it to the pool and follow along. And the workouts go upward to 50 minutes. And the 50 minute ones, you would probably want something to follow along with. So whether it be an earbud, if you're in a community pool, um, and some people have set up in their community pools, um, these are smaller community pools, but they've set up their iPad on a stand with a speaker, and a group of, you know, a small group of four or five people can exercise together. So it can be individual, small group, um, but you don't need a lot of space. How global are you? So you've got, um, have you got uh, coaches or, or I don't know, do you call them coaches or teachers um, all over the world? Or Yes, we have um, water exercise coaches in more than 15 countries. So there is a community board that would function much like in um, Telegram or Facebook, where people can post a question that other people can see and answer um, that is built right into the, um, the platform. And if you have an iOS device, there is an app. So you can um, download the workouts that you want to take um, and not rely on internet um, connection or using your data. All right, great. So this will be my last question before okay. you've got, before asking if you've got what advice you would give to others, uh, which is my, my final question always. Um, so uh, how, how could somebody then learn uh, the, the, these water techniques with you online? Would they need to be, uh, in the water while they're doing it or how would that work? Oh yeah, that's a great question. So um, you do not need to be in the water while you're learning. Um, in fact, you know, a lot of people took the course while they had no access to a pool and they simply applied what they were learning to land. So um, the methodology, it goes across all forms of exercise. So you do not need a pool to be trying the examples. Um, however, this is aquatic based training. So the focus is water and ideally, so they get the online course and within the window that I uh, deliver the course, I host live uh, Q&A sessions. So that allows people to go in, learn on their schedule whenever it's flexible for them learn the lesson, then we come ask questions. I give a little bit deeper explanation on the lesson, the module. I don't want you just to know the formula. I want you to understand how to use it in your own situation. So um, it's kind of like that structured flexibility learning where um, it's flexible for you to take the course on your own time, but then we have these structured meetups to ask questions on each of the different modules so that you can really make sure you understand how to go and use it. So it, it certainly is helpful if in between each lesson that you can either be going in the pool and trying them out for yourself or going and teaching a regular class um, to explore what you're learning.
So my last question, from your expertise and your experience and obviously your passion for both exercise and water and learning to trust yourself and feeling, um, what would be your advice for people that are currently feeling uh, maybe lost, maybe fearful, maybe uh, uncertain in these changing times that we're in right now? Um, I, I think the big thing is to, first of all, just to move more often. So this is something we can all do. Um, you know, it, it, exercise doesn't have to be formal. So if we can take five minutes out of the day and go for a quick walk, if we can get up from our desk and just do uh, a few movements and you can try one of the six in one movement breaks, moving more often, very important. And then the second piece is that everybody has the ability to move better and feel better. You've just got to learn how to feel it. So we all have that ability inside of us. It's just really discovering it. So you've got to um, trust yourself. And, you know, Robito and I could keep saying this back and forth, but it's, it's hard to describe and put words to. You've got to actually experience it and just keep trying different things. And it's really a skill that's developed over time. So just be patient with yourself. And um, when you start to develop that sense of awareness, then you'll know it. And you'll, you'll understand how um, you can trust yourself to really, truly get your best results. So nobody knows how you're feeling inside, only you do. So move more often, trust yourself. That's the big takeaway. And the move, move more often part, I mean, obviously, that's going to take you away from doom scrolling if you move more often. Um, what would be the other kind of benefit or what um, maybe what um, have people come back to you uh, and said to you kind of testimonials of, you know, it's helped with this, it's helped with this. What types of things have you kind of um, experienced improvements with? Um, wow. The list is really endless. And the thing is, it doesn't, it's, um, it's not complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. You know, we talked about this idea of moving in six directions. That sounds so simple and it is, but I will tell you that when people do this type of training, it can take as little as one session for somebody to say, oh my goodness, that back pain I've had for 10 years is gone. All right. It's just that simple because the body is designed to move in all available directions. And so sometimes we just need to wake up the joints in a direction we're not moving. Um, but people can say, you know, my arm pain is gone. My back pain is gone. I feel stronger going up and down stairs. I can play with the grandkids. I can keep up on my walk. There's endless stories about how people are moving and feeling better and just really being able to do the activities that they enjoy most. And really that's what this training is all about is really training for, for life and being able to do the kind of things you want to do easier, pain-free and having fun doing it. And what about people coming to you and say, I'm feeling more positive or I'm feeling more energized? Yes, sleeping better, yes. So there we go. So if people are struggling with any physical ailments, emotional ailments, um, the power of movement, and then knowing and feeling your, your you know, trusting yourself uh, help, helps us then to learn what is, the, what is the right movement or even just the right action in our lives uh, moving forward. So, yeah, it's all connected. Everything is connected. It's amazing. Laurie, thank you so much for this interview. Is there uh, any last words you'd like to say? If not, I'll cut this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nothing, nothing else to add. Just thank you for the opportunity and thank you for all you're doing to connect 
and bring all of this learning to all of us together because um, it certainly had a positive impact for me, which also then has a positive impact out to the people that I work with. So thank you for all you do. So what are the links to the different places that people can go to? So waterexercisecoach.com. That's my main website. If you're interested in teacher training, that'd be the place to go. WeCoachWorkouts.com. That's Water Exercise Coach Workouts. So WeCoachWorkouts.com is where you can get um, access to workouts and work out with me and my team. So the, And then the YouTube channel is at Water Exercise Coach. And also you mentioned vaccine injury. We didn't really go into that, but if anybody has... Um, got questions on how what you do could help somebody with a vaccine injury how would people contact you um so my email is lori l-a-u-r-i-e at waterexercisecoach.com okay and then i presume there's also a contact form on the website as well yes it'll take you to the same place and i answer all of those so um it, they all come direct to me great thank you so much thank you i appreciate the opportunity Thank you.